a little boxing fantasy fight. George Foreman, Lennox Lewis, two of the biggest and best heavyweights of all time, two of the greatest heavyweights. How would that fight go? Uh, everybody knows that I generally favor the newer fighters ahead of the older fighters. And I think Lennox Lewis is the greatest head-to-head -head heavyweight of all time. But as I said in my last video, styles make fights. And every man has their boogeyman, as Tyson Fury says. And in my opinion, Lennox Lewis's boogeyman is George Foreman. George Foreman is all wrong for Lennox Lewis. Lennox Lewis, what makes him great is he's tall enough and long enough where he can use his size and his boxing ability to outbox the smaller guys like he did versus David Tua. But he's not going to be able to do that versus George Foreman because the height and reach and the speed of Foreman is a lot greater than the speed of Tua and the height and reach of Tua. So I don't think that he's going to be able to just, you know, stick and move and do that kind of thing. This stupid thing doesn't keep falling down. But what Lennox's plan B in these type of fights is, like where Vitaly Klitschko, where he tried to jab and move and do all that, it didn't really work. So then he's like, okay, I'm going to make it a dog fight. Do you really want to make it a dog fight versus George Foreman? I'm not so sure about that. You saw what happened with Ron Lyle when that happened. Uh, George Foreman has the better chin, and George Foreman has more power. I think Lennox Lewis for George Foreman, if it gets into a dog fight, it favors George Foreman. And uh, George Foreman, he's able to cut the ring off well enough that Lennox Lewis is not going to be able to be slick and be, you know, doing his, you know, slick boxing to do a specialist thing, which Lennox Lewis, you know, claims that he is. When in reality, Lennox Lewis, in my mind, isn't just like super slick boxer. When Lennox is at his best, it's when he's being that boxer puncher trunk style, looking to slug it out, that kind of thing. So I favor George Foreman. I think George Foreman stops him. I think that uh, George Foreman knocks him out. I'm going round eight. Let me know what you guys think.